So just wanting to let you know that your current energy for the month of November current situation is the Ace of Swords. And what I'm feeling here is that you are getting clarity on something this month. You're having a breakthrough. And this could also be some new ideas that are very beneficial to you. Uh, clarifying this, I also have another Ace of Swords. So it's very powerful energy here through the month of October for you. Gaining clarity, new inspiration, new ideas, actually having some breakthrough this month. And then I have here clarifying that as well is the Seven of Cups. And so with that Seven of Cups, it's showing me that you've had some uh, choices or decisions that you've had to make in the recent past. And with that, you maybe didn't know which direction to choose. But for this month, you know where you're going. You do have a divine breakthrough. It is divine clarity. And you will be heading in the right direction. And then I have here for your potential obstacle or challenge for the month is that Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is just a reminder to you that you may be focusing on something that does not serve you. Whatever this is, it's gone, it's over, it's done. And any attention that you give it gives it life. And you don't this is something that you absolutely want to leave in the past. It is the past. It's gone. It's over. You need to find comfort and uh, knowing you have to bask in the knowing that you are this, this area of your life does not serve you. And with that magician, that's just reminding you that you create your own reality and creating more of this by focusing on that. So you need to take a gentle shift of your focus and try to focus on uh, this new clarity, your new direction that you are heading towards. And again, that is very heavy energy there, which is very beautiful as far as a new divine breakthrough. This is triumph. This is victory. This is where you need to focus, not on something of the past that has you held back. Now, what I have for your outcome, I have four cards come out for your outcome. So you do have very beautiful, very powerful energy. You have three major arcanas in your outcome and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So let's just start with Temperance. That is where, uh, that's the first one that came out. And that is actually maintaining your balance, maintaining your calm, being in the zone, feeling great, feeling balanced. And I see that happening with you. Also, second card here is the Ace of Pentacles. So you are embarking on a divine financial journey. There, it, This could be a new career path for you as well. It could be a new job, but it's a new financial opportunity that has you feeling totally blessed, totally abundant. It has you feeling prosperous and fertile and abundant, just like you're manifesting here. And then I have here uh, the emperor, which is making me feel like you are a leader of sorts. Maybe whatever this energy is here, you are uh, starting out um, a new job that is where you're a superior in the position, um, or it's actually getting your affairs in order, getting things in order, and actually having plans, giving you the ability to achieve success and have strategy. So it's a very, very powerful, firm energy here. And then I also have the, the hermit and with the hermit and it came out right underneath that temperance card showing me that you're being more in touch with your spirituality. You're taking time out to reflect and it could be also that you have uh, some new opportunities uh, for, for mentorship, but you're also retreating from the noise and you're receiving your answers that are lying within. So it's a very beautiful, very powerful financial answer and spiritual outcome for this month. Very beautiful. And then I have here clarifying those four cards, 
you have the nine of pentacles and you have the nine of cups. So you are feeling very content, very peaceful. You are feeling abundant. You are feeling the fruits of your labor. You're feeling like your wishes are just absolutely coming true. And what I'm getting here with this five of cups, as far as your obstacle or challenge, I'm feeling for most of you, that that's just like a little bump in the road. It's nothing really heavy or hard. Um, it's just something that you catch yourself every now and then, uh, noticing that you're focusing on some things that do not serve you. And it's just a reminder, you know, you're a powerful creator. You are a divine, divine being. And with that, you need to know that with your thoughts backed by any emotion of any kind, you will create your reality. So just try to, when you find yourself thinking back on, on, um, uh, something of the past that you know very well does not serve you, try to gently shift your focus, shift it onto the abundance and the prosperity and these new divine offers, shift it on this clarity, triumph and victory and success. You have such powerful energy this month. Very, very, very beautiful. And you need to continue to ride that wave. What I'm uh, going to do now is pull from the Archangel Power Tarot and see what else we can pull for you here. And I have peace. And it says, release the past. There's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And that's reminding you right there. You have a more enriching future coming. And let me tell you here, this is the most beautiful outcome I've seen in quite some time. So you're gaining your clarity, you're gaining your wisdom, you're having a triumph and victory, and you have so much powerful energy there with two aces of swords that there's no time to be looking at or focusing in on something that does not serve you. And again, the magician reminding you that you uh, create your own reality and you are creating things based on where your thoughts lie. So if you're thinking positive, thinking victory, triumph, you're thinking success and manifestation and new journeys and blessed, blessed things on your horizon, then you are going to manifest more of that. So I have here the page of Michael, and it says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So something new is coming along here. And with that, just make sure that you are really paying attention to um, the details there, just to make sure that everything is in order. And that is also reminded to you by this emperor card here. And then I have the Ace of Raphael. So you have Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, another Ace of Swords, and you have here the Ace of Raphael, which would be the Ace of Cups. And it says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights. So with these new journeys that you are taking, these new divine opportunities that are just being handed to you, you have them in love, you have them in uh breakthrough and clarity and triumph and victory and you have them also in your finances and you know what I have here the ace of Michael and it's a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others and that ace of Michael is one more ace of swords so there is a few different ways to look at that ace of swords and you need to make sure that you are paying attention to that this month. It's very powerful energy, something that your angels wanted you to know, and you have three aces of swords in your reading right now. And this is finding the truth. It's new ideas. It's mental clarity. It's success, victory, triumph in everything. And what these aces of swords mean is that ultimate change is coming. Ultimate change is coming coming. This is 
means behind the scenes, there is an enormous, powerful force at work for you. Very, very beautiful. And then again, I have the emperor and he is stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation and ambitious plans. So you have double the energy of the emperor and you have three aces of swords, an ace of Raphael, and you have the ace of pentacles. So very powerful new beginnings here that just bring you such abundance, grace, gratitude. It brings you just a sense of completion that you have not felt in a long, long time. You guys are really seriously going places this month. It is absolutely powerful, divine forces at work, and you need to ride this wave ride this wave, pay attention to where you're focusing, ride this wave. And um, I'm pulling from your daily guidance from your angels cards just to see what else they want you to know. And I have here ground yourself and it says when you detach from awareness of your body in the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are neither needed here upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and the material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. And you do have a fulfilling earthly life going on right now. And you know what that's saying, you know, many times we try to, you know, retreat and stay in, uh, you know, a, a sense of um, spirituality, we're retreating, maybe working a little hard on that, relax back a little bit and just allow your own intuition to speak to you and stay grounded, stay grounded. And then I have here, Release and surrender. And it says, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. And that is whatever the situation is that you need to let go. And it also says here, open your hands, your arms, and your heart to love and assistance. And just a quick reminder that your angels are right here around you. They know your struggle with this. Like I said, I don't feel that it's a big, heavy struggle this month, but release any of that to your angels and they will help you to move past it, forgive, release, find the lesson, find the blessing. And then you're able to, once you put that baggage down, you're able to open your arms and allow them in. And I have here perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspiration. Doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate all as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. And I do think that that has something to do with that new divine clarity that you are receiving and uh, as well as your outcome here. You have such powerful energy this month, Gemini. Please ride the wave of that. If you're not necessarily feeling that right this moment, just know it's there and just hold on to be in the sense of knowing that God's got you and that there is a huge, powerful, powerful divine force that is working for you, with you, and behind you. It's all behind the scenes right now, but you are manifesting this great beauty this month. Just it's stability and it's efficiency. You're taking charge and you have some ambitious plans. And what this is saying, it's the perfect timing for these plans. You forge ahead, forge ahead, make sure you stay grounded. You definitely want to stay grounded, but you have this between the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups, you are feeling content, self-satisfaction. You're feeling so grateful, feeling like your wishes are coming true and you're receiving your great harvest of abundance, luxury, self-sufficiency, and financial independence. You have powerful forces at work here this month. Powerful forces. 